Here's a quick video on how to start um, soldier fly farming. Um, I have two terrariums. I just bought at the local pet store that I had laying around. I taped them to each other upside down um, so they are um, together in one space. Uh, both these doors open up this one upside down obviously and the other one opens up the correct way. It's got some air vents um, airflow going through it which is good. On the bottom here I have a net so when I go to retrieve some black flo um, soldier fly larva all my flies do not fly out. I'll show you my setup. At the back here I have cardboard paper in layers. Um, they like to lay their eggs in here in the layers. I also got a wood block put together with some spaces in between them. Uh, they also like to lay their eggs in here. Um, I have a little ramp. If the eggs were to hatch, they can fall down this little ramp into this cornmeal. Uh, the cornmeal is not moistened yet because I don't have any flies that are developed yet. So I don't have to make that moist yet. Uh, in this base here, I have about 250-300 uh, black soldier fly larvae that I allow to pupate. They seek drier crowns when they are ready to pupate. Here's one of them. Uh, let me find a few. There's about, no, I don't know, 250-300 in here, I believe. Um, No big deal. Um, here is one. So this is a black soldier fly larva. Um, about ready to pupate and this is a prepupa. And they just crawl into the dirt where they will uh, rest and develop into flies. Once they become flies, they can fly in here. I have a stick um, that I have installed over here so they have a place to rest. So the main thing is you need an attractant in order to stimulate the flies to lay eggs, which means in here, once the flies start developing, I will put a cup with brown sugar, moistens with a paper towel or a napkin uh, from pulled up in it, and it will keep that moist so they can smell the brown sugar and they can have some liquid and stay hydrated which allows them to live longer. So I will put that probably in here in the dirt part, a little cup with some brown sugar and a paper towel, a napkin kept moist. They also like to have a plant nearby, um, something that shows some greenery. And they are definitely most active when the sun comes up. Um, mid morning to noon, they are most active, fly around. They have to have a space where they can fly because they mate in flight and then they drop down and continue mating. Um, so this has worked for me before. I started with about 200 black soldier fly larvae that I bought online. Um, I fed them literally any food scraps I had, uh, pizza, any mac and cheese, just anything really that was not eaten off the table and I let them grow and then I put them in dirt, let them prepupate and pupate and develop in the flies. And then I retrieved some eggs from them and I will show you here. I have three containers with my maggots. which I have been feeding to my chickens for the last week now, and they absolutely love it. So when I retrieve eggs, I put them in a bucket with some moistened um, cornmeal. The cornmeal should be, should be moistened about two or three days before you put any eggs in it um, or baby larva, because it does heat up, it does, smell and so in order to offset the smell I put some coffee grounds in it with it and then again 
I just feed them any food I have left over that is not eaten off the table. So that's pretty much in a, um, it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, need anything clarified, um, need help with starting the process, just leave me a comment. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you.